Hey there, welcome to Yoga Wild's YouTube channel. My name is Mandy and I use she, her pronouns, and I'm bringing you today Yoga for Courage. If you're new to Yoga Wild's channel, please hit subscribe below, and then maybe leave a comment saying that you're new or saying where you're watching from. Since you can watch from anywhere in the world, it's great to know where people are actually connecting from. Bringing this class today, we're filming in June of 2020, in the wake of the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Manny Ellis here in Tacoma at the hands of police. And these deaths have brought an uprising across the country, across our city, and internationally, as people are waking up to the realities of police violence and to racial inequities that have been going on for hundreds of years. I wanted to bring a class that is, this class brings courage and energy, and we need those things in our lives right now. One of the things that we're going to do in the class is a pranayama practice called the lion's breath. And pranayama is simply a breath practice. Um, this breath can sometimes feel silly, uh, but I encourage you to take up space with it. We take a deep breath in, and then we exhale with a sound but you're gonna stick your tongue out and your eye gaze looks towards your third eye center or the center of your forehead. So you're gonna be looking up and maybe feel a little bit cross-eyed. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go through three breaths. This is a practice that's energizing and builds courage, and it's what we need right now, is energy and courage. Let's begin in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So bring your feet about in line with your hips. Maybe pick up your toes and spread them, and then place them back down. Palms are facing forward. And spine is long. Feel your feet grounded in the earth as your feet press into the earth and feel the energy of the earth coming up through your legs, bringing strength, maybe engaging the front of the thighs, feeling length through the spine as you grow taller. And your heart is open, your shoulders are open, your hands are open. This is a powerful stance, like a mountain. I want you to feel that power as we begin. Scan your body and just notice how it feels at the beginning here to just stand. Take an inhale, bring your hands towards the ceiling and upward salute, and then step back into warrior one. I'm gonna turn my body so that I'm sideways as you get settled in. So your feet are still in line with your hips Back foot is about 45 degrees, and then strong bending into the front foot. Hands overhead. Option, if it feels better in your body for your knee, to just be in a lunge here, lifting up the back heel and feeling long through the back heel. Inhaling here, bring your elbows back into cactus arms. I'm gonna inhale and then do a lion's breath. And inhale, hands back to upward salute position. I'm gonna run through this five times with a lion's breath. Inhale, lion's breath. <laughs> inhale, hands towards the ceiling. Coming back to Tadasana. Breath in, breath out. <sighs> Inhale, hands to ceiling, stepping back into warrior one, second side. Finding your stance, feeling strong in your legs and rooted through your feet. Inhale, fingertips to ceiling. And exhale, lion's breath. <sighs> Ah. 
Inhale, upward salute. And standing back in Tadasana. Again, feeling the groundedness. Scanning your body, feeling the energy and the heat in your breath. Feeling the energy through the tips of your fingers. The energy you can send back into the earth. One more breath here. Inhale, hands to the ceiling, and move into chair pose, sitting back. We often call this chair pose as if it's a restful posture, um, and it's not. It's often called powerful pose as well, and if you've ever practiced it, you know that it is not an easy posture. So we're sitting strong, feeling the strength in our thighs, opening in the glutes, hands raised overhead, inhale, and then exhale, hands to prayer. With the next inhale, open up and step wide, moving through a star posture, really taking up space here, and then dropping into goddess. And feel free to find some movement in your hips here. And again, finding stability. So, so feet are wider than hips here, toes are facing outward. And we're coming down, arms open into goddess. We're going to flow back and forth between chair and goddess. So inhale, and then exhale, step back to chair, prayer hands, sitting strong. Stay here for a breath. And exhale. Inhale, we're going to switch to the second side, stepping wide, goddess pose. Exhaling into the pose. Inhale through star, stepping forward into chair. Inhale, star to goddess. Inhale, star to chair. Inhale, star, goddess. Inhale. Taking up space, landing in chair. Let's speed it up. And then five more times, one breath per movement. So we inhale, open, exhale, chair. Inhale, goddess, exhale, chair. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, chair. Two more each side. Taking up space, feeling your breath, feeling the flow. And landing in chair, taking one breath here. Exhale. Inhale, upward salute. And ending back where we started in Tadasana. Again, checking in with your body, feeling the heat in your breath, feeling the energy in your arms and in your legs. Feeling your heartbeat inside your chest. Feeling your breath. Knowing you are alive. And feeling your power.
Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. If you want to pause the video. When you're ready, inhale, arms overhead, and bringing hands back through. Heart center, ending in pose of equanimity. Thank you for joining me for Yoga for Courage today. Again, my name is Mandy. My hope is that this is a tool that you can use uh, to be courageous and to be energized to go in the world and do the work that needs to be done uh, to, to fight racism and to fight the status quo that we are all living in and have been living in. Um, for my friends watching who are white, I hope that this gives you the courage to speak out uh, and to check your own privilege and do the education that you need to do to understand what is happening in the world that we just aren't taught. Um, gives you the courage to march and to stand and to call out racism when you see it. For those of you who are black and people of color, I hope that this gives you a tool to access that power in your body when you feel tired. This is what I'm hearing from a lot of my friends is that they're just tired. And I hope that this makes you feel energized. You can take one part or either part or this whole thing. You can do this anywhere. You don't need equipment. You don't need a yoga studio. You need a body. You need some breath. And you can do this practice. Again, thank you for being here. If you are new to the channel, remember to hit subscribe and check out uh, Casey, our leader, has some great uh, Black Lives Matter yoga flows that you can find on the YouTube channel as well. Thank you.